is Tony Kim. Hopefully you enjoyed my research. Let's get started. I think everyone agree with the climate change is occurring right now and human activities are the primary drivers. Global warming changed many environmental phenomena such as increasing the ocean level and loss of ice in polar area. The drought, especially many animals have lost their pet, like the polar bear and fox. Let me ask a question. Are you really concerned about that animal? I know you feel sympathy, but it's pretty hard to feel in your life. What if global warming threatens your life? Insects are very sensitive to the temperature change because of atmospheric creature. Their generation life cycle time can be shortened due to the warmer temperature. As you can see the left figure, the mosquitoes distributions can spread much further where never exist before. One more problem is that insects can be overweight to retain their pathogen due to the warmer temperature during the winter. The mosquitoes are primary vector for the many pathogens such as dengue and West Nile fever, Simplai virus, chikungunya, and alpha virus. There are 3,500 mosquito species in the world. As you can see, the right figure is a mosquito have a very specialized organ. It's called the siphon and trumpet. It can facilitate breathing outside in contaminated water. And they have a very high insecticide resistance and urbanization can accelerate mosquito population. I will give you an example. The single mosquito lay 300 eggs at a time, three times for their life. That means in the optimal environment, a single mosquito turns to 6.7 million mosquitoes. After three weeks, it is over because of a high reproductive capacity. The mosquitoes are obligated blood feeder for the reproductive purpose. So they are neutralizing the host of carbon dioxide, uh, visual stimuli, heat, metabolic substance as a tube. Mosquitoes can distinguish humans from other animals with a distinctive odor. I would like to focus on the odor. Where that distinctive odor came from? As you know, the human have many sweat glands distributed all over our body, such as apocrine, acrine. But the important thing is the uh, sweat itself doesn't ha have any smell, just a liquid. But in high temperature and humidity, like the, your feet, bacteria can multiply and make the distinctive odor that can be detected by the mosquito. Because uh, they, have a, they, they have a specialized uh, odor receptor in their antennae. So why do we can block the part of the bacteria is always the pathway. This is a quantum sensing. Quantum sensing is a chemical talking among the bacteria cell to cell communication, and bacteria use the secreted signaling molecules called the R inducer to activate bacteria quantum sensing gene expression. It's like the biofilm formation. Quantum sensing is thought to be an intraspecific communication among the bacteria, but the many articles said, uh, especially in 2012, Dr. Tumbling, the blood fly response is signaling molecules by quantum sensing by bacteria. And any state part attracts 74% more attractive to the wild type as a dermis comparing gene suppressed strain. They communicate each other well in English. But what if we make them miscommunicate? Like the hey, we have Chinese and Korean. <laughs> My hypothesis is uh, disrupting the asset dermis quantum sensing with uh, inhibitor molecules reduce the ABC type attraction. My material method is pretty straightforward. Uh, asset dermis is a sample 
from the start at the USDA and then we strip the bacteria in the hour plate. We measured the optical density and did a severe condition for getting the exact concentrations at the 8 coming from the unit per minute. Eighty stage power was maintained at the lab at the Texas A&M and we made the artificial blood feeders the consistent of tissue culture fast covered with the particle and we injected one meal of rabbit blood into the space and covered with cotton clothes for the treatment and then secure the tightly the two outplay the water bands. We use the three different types of vector the treatment, bacteria, bacteria plus chrome sensing inhibitor mixture, and then chrome sensing inhibitor alone. And we left them the 15 minutes, 15 minutes uh, enough reaction time. We released the 50 mosquitoes into the experiment cage and they can access to the the artificial blood period because of the beta of mesh. So the, we connect with the water bath and then we all the mosquito activities are recorded by high definition camera. The data is analyzed the uh, ANOVA and the uh, response of comparison of the mosquito response uh, over the time. As you can see the figure the bacteria is a uh, significant higher than other uh, treatment. The bacteria plus chrome sensing is uh, 75% the less mosquito attraction than bacteria. That means it worked. So here is a main number of mosquito attractions. As you can see the 1 and 4 and 5 minutes, the bacteria treatment is a significant higher than other treatment. It's a very similar result to the effective the repellent experiment because within the five minutes the mosquito can make the decision this host is a pretty suitable or not for the blood meal. So that means that the bacteria plus chrome sensing, the last mosquito attraction than bacteria is, is good. It's working well. Here is accumulated mean number of mosquito. Interesting is uh, after 10 minutes, chrome sensing in bigger blood feeders, the higher mosquito attraction than bacteria plus chrome sensing in bigger. We are expecting the chrome sensing itself to may have uh, some functional mosquito attractions, or before the 10 minutes, uh, you know, the chrome sensing in bigger repel the mosquito. So we don't know, not yet. So we need, we need to figure out the uh, different concentra concentration of chrome sensing inhibitor and then how long the chrome sensing lasts and also the, we need to apply to the other mosquito and bacteria species. And most important thing is the uh, human safety when we apply to the skin. Yeah. I would like to express my application to my advisor, Dr. Tumbery, and then Dr. Clinton at USD. My colleague at the flight facility, and my girlfriend, Hannah Perry, and my puppy, honey. Thank you so much.